A 19-year-old from Buffalo is living every day as his last. Doctors recently told Stefan Wilson he couldn't get the transplant he needs to make his heart and kidneys healthy again. So now he's made a bucket list of things he wants to do in the time he has left. News Force Christy Kern sat down with Stefan and his mother. Exactly. <laughs> 19 year old Stefan Wilson and his mom Stephanie are focusing on the little moments like this. All I could do is live life to the fullest. Um, just try to make every day count. It comes after a devastating diagnosis last month. Doctors put Stefan on palliative care after a long journey that started when he was just 12 years old. As we were leaving, a doctor, Lillian, was like, Well, have anybody ever told you that his heart was enlarged? Um, and we were sort of kind of puzzled. Doctors eventually found Stefan's heart was not functioning correctly. He got a heart transplant in Pittsburgh in January 2010. Since then, he's had four heart attacks, a stroke, and several seizures. Doctors recently told him he would need a kidney transplant and another heart transplant, but he would not survive the surgeries. They say doctors told him to go home and make a bucket list to spend the rest of his time, and that's what he and his family have done. I would hate to die and not leave some sort of kind of mark on anybody that I met. He wants to do things most of us take for granted, like go to a basketball game, a Broadway play, zip lining, and on a vacation. His mom says he's never seen the beach. That's kind of reaching pretty far because you know, of course, we, we can't afford stuff like that. Most importantly, he wants to spend time with his family, his mom, brother, and sister. They went to their first concert two weeks ago in Rochester. We call it our memories movement. We want to do a bonfire and roast s'mores and stuff like that. Stefan is taking it with ease, focusing on the positive. I think having this transplant and everything like that has built my character and my self-esteem. But it's a lot harder for mom. They've both gotten tattoos to symbolize strength and support. Your battle is my battle. Doctors can't say how long Stefan's heart and kidneys will last. It's an unknown that brings both peace and heartbreak to the family. I mean, I'm never going to stop fighting. <laughs> um, and I'm always going to believe, so it's just like a waiting game for the guy to speak. Stefan and his mother say they're working to get a second opinion. I asked Stefan how he's able to stay so positive. He says it's because of support from his family, and he knows he must be very strong to be going through this. Live in the studio, Christy Kern, News 4 at 6.